It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Evan Dunham. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup time. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Evan Tana! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, no pun intended, but you are in for a treat tonight. The UFC is live on Halloween. No trick-or-treating for Danny Cormier tonight. Well, I'm trick-or-treating right here at the commentary booth. There got my go. hands out. I got my hands out. Give me some candy. Uh -huh. I don't want a handshake. Give the boys some candy. It's Halloween night, and you're in for a great night of fun. Nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. That was lightning fast, that right hand. And they separate. Counters now left hook to the headlands. Nice punch, Lance. 
both guys really throwing with authority. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your knees. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee gets in the clinch. Boy, tie plump. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the jet. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Beautiful kick. Oh, spinning fastest. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice right hand. Nice loop and punch. Nice leg kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Don's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice right hand coming. Spinning back fist. He missed with that jab attempt. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Straight punch lands. Again, back into this position. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Left hand punch to the clinch. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Keeps the elbow there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Back and forth we go here. Whiffs on the right hand. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, nice right hand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Straight left counter finds the target. Ooh, what a punch. Donald's lower 
jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Spinning back fist. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Distance gets the single collar tie. Lands the right hand. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Effective punch there by Lee. Blocks the shot. How good is that right hand? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And they set. All right, single collar tie now. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Nice liver shot lands. here. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, big head kick. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Single collar tie here. And there comes the separation now. Punch coming, it's blocked. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Oh, and he continues. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, but half just looking to recover. 10 minutes in the box. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, 
it might be good night Irene Strike to the bottom. Oh! Hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 43 seconds with round number three. Joining the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure to...